Hi, my name is Sherry. Welcome to my stamp studio. If you've not been here before, today's video is going to be a little bit different because I don't usually do as many cards as I'm going to do today. And usually they are a little bit more, oh, not difficult, but usually there's some more tips and tricks and techniques. There are going to be some tips and tricks today, but um, because I'm doing a lot of cards, they're going to be a little bit quicker. So what I'm showing you today is are the cards from my last chance card class that I did in April and through part of May, but it has since sold out. So the cards that I'm doing are for the girls that got the last of the card class, where some of them were different because I'd had to piece together some stuff to make up for the, the things that I'd run out of. But stick around to the end because this class is also going to be changed into, it's gonna be the same format, but it's gonna be a Try It Club class and you're gonna love it, love it, love it, love it. So it's the new class, signups are starting today and I, it will have a limited number. So if you don't get in on this first one, because I need to place the order the day the catalog goes live so I can get all of the pieces and get it cut out to you to get it to you in a timely manner, partly because we go on vacation in June as well. So signups will be today, limited number. So hop on it because you're gonna love it. And I'll explain the last that like how it's gonna work towards the end. But I want to show you the like the feel of the class. You're gonna get that. Um, I did want to mention that I'm going to the post office tomorrow. This will be the fourth time that I've done a catalog run. So anybody that doesn't have one yet, all you have to do to get a catalog is place an order on my website. Any amount doesn't matter. And you can find the links wherever you are on Facebook under my YouTube video wherever, and then I'll know that you need it. Use the host code. You will get a free gift. You'll get your catalog, and you'll also get invited to our Facebook event on Friday. If you happen to be watching this and it's further past the Facebook event, that's okay. It's a sneak peek, so it'll be up for a while, and you can, if you didn't watch it live, you can still watch all of the great content. So what the class was, was a last chance card class, and what all of the girls got the PDF, and then they got all, all, all of their supplies that were all retiring product. Not everything, sometimes a ribbon or something, obviously cardstock wasn't necessarily retiring, but then they got this PDF and then they were able to follow along and make their cards with whatever stamps and punches or dies that they might've had to put the sentiments on. Sometimes that they didn't even need a stamp or a die um, or a punch because the image was in their thing. And you'll see what I mean as I go. So it'll be the same concepts. This past class was only five cards. The Triad Club will be 10 because there's 10 new papers. Every card gets, you'll see papers, ribbons, embellishments. So you'll get to see 10 new of all of that for everything. So I'm gonna put together the cards and kind of show you. So when they get, when you get the PDF, they got this and you'll get one that will be all new stuff and there'll be new templates as well. Some of them will repeat some of my favorites. So it shows you the, the cards, it gives you a little bit of instruction, and then it shows you some of the samples. And you may not, even in the new one, you may not have, like the card I'm gonna show you today, your, your die may be a little bit different, but overall it's the same. And then if you have embossing folders or you have um, other dies that you wanna do or different shaped punches or different words, all of that's up to you, different colored card stocks. So let's get going. We'll do this one first because this was card one and it was using up your small scraps. So this is great whenever you have designer series paper and you know like a lot of times we cut panels and you're left with all of those little scraps and I'll show you what I mean. You have all of these one inch little scraps that fall off of your papers. You know, and you just have long strips of these. And a lot of us just throw them away because we're like, what am I gonna do with those strips? Well, I will show you. This is perfect pair. So some of the girls got this. Some of them may have gotten other colors. Some of them may have gotten different patterns of this, but the template works for everything. This is just a piece of typing paper. You just wanna add a little bit of adhesive to the edges of it. And then you just kind of lay these out in kind of the design that you want. And remember, there's two sides, so kind of flip them over and see. And I cut poorly on that one. They're not the right size. So if you got this and you got to cut poorly, then you're going to have to trim. So I want to mix my flowers and my colors. Oh, and this package is too cute. There's too many... Let's do this. 
like that. So when you have your small scraps, so just start with one and you want your typing paper to be a little bit smaller than your design. It's just to get this to stick here. One of these is the one that's cut too large or too small. And then you just butt those right up against and then lay it down. Same, but right up against so they're even, assuming that I cut them straight. So see these are trash or they're not. Well, maybe I didn't cut them poorly. Maybe it was an optical illusion. No, it's this one that's cut poorly. And this just needs a tiny bit more adhesive right here. I do give you the measurements on how big to cut your typing paper on the template. I just didn't read it this morning. So then you have this. Now, if you have an embossing folder, you might run that through. I'm assuming that people who do this might be a beginner or you just might be making a lot of cards quickly and you don't want to take time, but it does look really pretty to run this through an embossing folder and it makes it look like it's one piece. So then you just take this and your little scraps, which in our in retired card class was um, like kind of the last way to use a card. So then I didn't cut the ribbon for this. This was some of our retiring ribbon and a lot of this is still available. I did want to remind you and a lot of it's available and on sale on clearance. So you'll want to hop over if you love any of this because some of the ribbon, and I will tell you, I get when our ribbon like this goes on sale for like $2 a spool, it's great for wrapping gifts. So then you just take your ribbon because every, every project will get paper, ribbon, and an embellishment. So here's the ribbon. It doesn't go with this sweet and retired. In the new one, I will try when things can match to give you some matching stuff. In retired, it's all look like, oh look, all this Stampin' Up stuff goes together. And then just pull out all of any punches that you have and a bunch of the sayings that you know that you might need during the year. So I've got my hap a happy birthday, just a nice pretty font one. This comes from the um, poppies. And just mostly a black pad. If you wanna get some other colors out and, and get a little more artsy with it, feel free. And then, I didn't send any paper because some people might want shimmer, some people might want vanilla, some people might want colored cardstock, and you can use punches or you can use dies. And then uh, any punch that fits your sayings or any die that fits, just pop this out. And you can use dimensionals if you have them. I don't send adhesive, I mean, any kind of adhesive, but. I assume you will have them, but you're welcome to punch that up if you want. Here was the little embellishment that they got. And these were the embellishments that went with this suite in the catalog. And I do believe that the cork are on sale and the cork are fabulous. So here's the little scrap one for this. And then this one, let me show you this one, is another scrap one. But this one I didn't use all of the same designer series paper. Because this one I had some of the gold glimmer paper, which is gonna be gone. And some of this foil. And this one I also, on all of the other ones, I just did one inch strips. This one, because it was gold, I wanted it to be a highlight piece. So I cut it a little bit bigger. So again, you just start with one, add the next, and just put it right up against it. And then do another one. So all of this comes in your kit. All you're adding are your stamped words, which in the um, Triad Club kits, I will probably include the the white and the vent or whatever color I intend for you to use for this. This class was incredibly inexpensive because I was trying to get up, use up my um, retired stuff. In fact, it was so inexpensive that for most of you, you got it free. So that's why I didn't include the white cardstock. 
but look how pretty that looks. And that's just a mix of what most of us would consider scrap papers. And then we have this paper here. And in the, re in the retired last chance class, I didn't tell them what any of this was. If you wanna know, you're welcome to ask me. Um, in the new one, when you get your little instructions here, I will tell you where everything comes from since it's all new and you don't know. This stuff's been around for a year, so I'm assuming that most of you know where it comes from. And most of you can go to the retired list and find it. So put this on here and then this beautiful champagne ribbon. I'm really sad that it's leaving because it wasn't around for long. I feel like some of this stuff from our um, occasion or our January to June mini catalog wasn't around for long because the quarantine came and I'd ordered a bunch of this stuff to use for my camps and classes and they just didn't happen because you know we couldn't have them and then I gave a little piece from our tropical oasis so I'm not going to add this saying I will take pictures of these I'll finish them off and I'll put them on my website so you'll want to go check that out here's the one I just did here's one with the some other papers here's a masculine one and here's one where I did run it through an embossing folder so I'm only gonna show you the ones on the website of the ones I make today. I'm not gonna show you the other ones because those were saved for the girls who did the class. So let's go on to, I guess, card two. So this one is if you have just a bunch of little scraps. So for this one, I have this lovely woven texture paper that they got. And everybody may have gotten different because this one I used at a class and I had tons of these little pieces. So pretty much I was I just divided it up and I gave everybody tons of little pieces. So they'll have some that they don't need. So you have a big piece here and you can decide which side do you want. Obviously for this one, I want this, but you may have one that has the terracotta on both sides because a lot of this paper has it both ways. And then if you have an embossing folder, again, this one you can flip either way. I like the contrast with the blue. You have an embossing folder or a die and you wanna make this piece be a little bit scallopy, by all means run that through. And then on my other samples, I have put these through some of my circle punches. I thought for this one, it might be fun to make some butterflies. So let's just stick these in here. You could do it with a punch or you could also do it with, um, I don't have my take your pick tool laying here. You could do it with the punch or we have lots of butterfly dies, so which, whichever one you have. And again, a lot of times we see these little pieces and we think that they're trash. But when you start looking at cards like this, I'm gonna get some of that purple on here after all. When you start looking at them like this, you realize they're not trash, that's enough. So let's take, this is the ribbon ribbon that did go with this suite. And one of the, the fun little secrets is, is you take this string right here and you pull it so you can leave it hooked up or you can leave it like that. I'm just going to add it right here. I am going to go ahead and do a same for it just so I can show you how I might finish this one off. The other one was kind of self-explanatory. So let's do the same happy birthday just to show that if you don't have a lot of words, if you are a newer stamper and you just want to really do the try it club class, so you can try it. All you need is one good basic punch. And this one's available right now. It is in the poppy set, I said. And the punch is available right now too. And neither of them are retiring. But it's a great way to get into the Facebook event and to get a free catalog if you don't have them. This, this poppy set has a ton of words. So just pop that out. And then let's just stick this here. But before I do that, you, this one also came with a little bit of our copper ribbon, which I am so sad that this is going because even though it's ribbon, it did this fun little, and I haven't checked to see what's on the sold out list recently, but if this isn't sold out, it had been reduced to like $2 and look how like it holds its shape and you can mess with it and it's just super fun. 
So let's stick this here. So this one actually came with two bits of ribbon because that ribbon is kind of a ribbon and an embellishment. You can use it as both. So let's stick the happy birthday there and then kind of fold these up. Give our butterflies a tiny bit of dimension. Then I'm gonna use this purple one. Put this here. And then this was, uh, oh, I don't remember. I think these have been around for a couple years, but it's also one of the embellishments that they got. And let's just stick that right there. So a card that was basically a lot of scraps, but I hate to throw them away, but all of those little pieces were left off cuts from other classes that I did. So this was another one. So I'll put a picture of that on my website. And then here are some of the ones that the girls got in other classes. And there were some other variations as well, um, enough that they could figure out easily what they were supposed to do. But this was the art one with the little felt things. And then obviously the, the nautical themed. So then I'm not gonna show you any of the samples from this, but it, these used our memories and more. So I just cut pieces of that, that same ribbon on there again. So that was, I've gone out of order on here. That was a starburst card and it tells you how to cut that apart and do that. So that was one of them. And then another one that I'm not gonna show you today is one where you let a big die and this will definitely make an appearance because we have some lovely big dies. In fact, the card I'm gonna show you today is a new version that wasn't in the class that will be in the try it and it's gonna use some of the new dies that we have. May have had some others or are those the only two I took pictures of so you get the PDF and like I tell you it has that and it has some samples so even if you don't get the exact pack but for the triad club I think you will so then this one is when you don't really need stamps because the the paper does the work for you and I haven't looked closely to this year's paper because obviously we don't have it all um, but this was best dressed so you don't even need to stamp so you got some embellishment, some ribbon, and then you cut the stamps out. This was one, it ended up being one of my most favorite papers, and we used it several times in this class. It was the same one that was on here, and I hardly even used it during the catalog year. But look how pretty those are, and those are just paper cutouts. As is, this was one of everybody's favorite. And the embellishments on this time were some rhinestones, and I dyed spools of ribbon to send people. And then this was also some of the laser cut paper, which is on is on clearance, and I don't think that it has sold out yet. And it was a really good deal as well. So here are, I'll do another one of these real quick for you. This is our birthday bonanza. And you can buy the stamps to do this. But if you just want to, if you don't make a lot of kids cards, this is a great paper to have because you can do the same thing with this where you don't need the stamps. You literally can just cut the images out. So some of the girls would have gotten whole images and I know I cut this paper too long. Well, I guess I didn't. Sometimes I, sometimes for classes I don't when it's for me, I do. Again, that same ribbon stick the ribbon on here, but here's a little tip. And I gave myself both two. When they're on the edges of paper, sometimes people just don't use them because they think, well, he doesn't have a tail, but that's okay. We're gonna stick him over here. We're gonna stick him over here and he also doesn't have a tail. I didn't give anybody in the class two that didn't have a piece, but all you do is stick one behind the other and then they all got some pom-poms they got two or three, however many fell into their package. Some of them fell onto the floor. <laughs> it was windy in my office that day. I'm gonna use my pom-pom instead of on top of a hat to be his little thing. Let me grab some paper. This time I'm just gonna do white. I'm gonna do the same happy birthday because one happy birthday can go a long way. This time I'm gonna switch up to this punch. This is an older punch. It's been around for a couple of years. So a lot of you probably have it, but it's a fun masculine child. It does a lot of shapes. So let's stick this on here. 
it goes up a tad. Just kind of stick it. The nice thing with these kind of kid-like patterns is they're really hard to mess up because, you know, they're just jovial and fun. So let's stick our little toucan here. And you can see his tail's chopped off because I just cut these out of the paper. And so many of them are next to the edge. And you can see he lost his tail. I would probably stick this in a glue dot if I wasn't trying to do so many cards in one video. But look, super cute. All it needed was paper and a happy birthday punch. So there's hardly any stamping to this. So if you don't make a lot of kids cards and you don't want to buy kids stamps, let the paper do the work for you. And the same with this one. Like this didn't have any... I mean, these are really easy cards. These are great if you're going on vacation and you want to take crafting supplies, but you're like, yeah, I don't want to take a million crafting supplies. Okay, our last one, this was going to end up being one that is morphing into, so here's our new card class. And it doesn't have a, it doesn't have a template. So you will get a whole new template. I mean, a whole new PDF. It's a booklet form. And that will come in your new card class. And it will ha also tell you what the things come from. So then this one is with the poppy paper. And people did get this in their class. And it wasn't at all this pattern in the other one. Because I was running out of sizes of paper that I could use. So this is Granny Apple. So if you got this and you just did get your packets with your new catalogs. Then here's how you would do this one. Just stick your paper on here. And you can see it's just the same paper. And I, I just went ahead and cut it. Partly because I didn't know when I was going to get this video out. And I didn't want you to be like, well, you just gave me a whole sheet of paper. But it's just flipped over to the other side. Here on the bottom. So this will be a new, a new design that's in our new one. And then just take some... Kind of what I did with that ribbon, the champagne ribbon. And this is some of our black satin ribbon and it is also retiring. And then add it here and then you can just stick your happy birthday or whatever. You might wanna do something a little more elegant on this card right over the top. And then it came with one of these. So you can stick that on there. So then for your new card, it's a variation of this. And this one will be in the new Try It Club kit. I'm gonna try as much as I can to get you all some in colors in there. So this is just Jade. And then again, I've gone ahead and cut this so I didn't have to do it on the video. So this is our fabulous wonderful forever greenery and you can see this is just the same piece i've already cut it so you'll you'll be able to make 10 cards but it won't be overwhelming and you'll have the pdf to just follow right along so we'll pop this up here and then again just add this little this little hint of fun down here And then you'll get a little piece of Just Jade ribbon and a little piece of the cord. And then everybody will get a little different piece of the fern dies because what I will do is I will stick all of the dies on and I'll run them through and then everybody will just get random because I'm not going to be all about cutting y'all out the same one. And then let's just do the same happy birthday. Where did I put it? But all of the dies, all of the all of the fern pieces are beautiful. So no matter which leaf you get, it will all match. And I did this in the champagne. I may switch to gold, but champagne was laying here on the table. But mixed metals are beautiful. And even though that little cord is gold, it doesn't matter. And then here is shimmer white, which may be the color that I include for you to do all of your stamping. And I may, in this one, I'm probably going to send you dimensionals. Like I said, the other one was a really inexpensive class. So a lot of it was kind of a DIY. This one's 
not going to be as cheap. Not cheap, but you know, this one, the other one was free for a lot of you. So when it's free, but this one you will get a few dimensionals. So let's pop this up and then let's take our Just Jade and just do a Fobo back here. Just stick both of your tips back here. Stick that here. And then you can see this ribbon phrase. So go ahead and fray some of it, but don't fray down to the bottom. And then if you have a glue dot, you can use it a glue dot. I'm just going to use my... And then your embellishment that you will get for this will be one of the little um, jade candy dots. We still call them candy dots because you know that's what they used to be called a long time ago. I think they're just called embellishments. But you'll get one of those. So that way, instead of having a Try It Club where you get a whole lot of stuff that ends up, I know sometimes people in Try It Clubs feel like they just end up at the end of the year with a lot of scraps. This way, you'll get to try it and use it. So it's a Try It Use It Club class. So this will be card one. All of the details to sign up will be in my email today on my website and limited space available. The reason I'm doing limited space is because some of the stuff they know is going to sell out because of COVID and delivery, um, getting the stuff made from the warehouses and getting it all in time for the onslaught of orders we get right away. So I will have um, limited signups at the beginning. And then if I get enough and stuff hasn't sold out, I may offer it again. And then what I may do is offer a version two. And that's why all of your designs may not be the same because I can't have 50 people sign up and give you all the same exact same piece of paper but my, the way that we did our retired class, you may get this card and you may have, oh, if I can reach it, instead of this piece of paper, you may have this piece of paper. So it's not the end of the world if your little things have this on the front and this on the back, but it allows me to get a lot more use out of the paper because I can't have everybody have the exact same card. Everything else will be the same, but you may have a little bit of a different design. In fact, some of you may end up with this and that on the back, but it, the overall theme, and that's why also why I can't take pictures of all of the designs. Um, you have to be a big girl and put your big girl pants on and your, your card may not look like mine, but it's the only way I'll be able to make it work this time without not having um, a zillion supplies at my control. So that is um, the last chance card class. And that's a whole lot of cards in one little video. Everybody have a great day. Bye.